the new weapon to hunt down troublemaking bikies. Airport congestion buster, commercial flights to fly from Archerfield. Did rail inspectors go too far with this citizen's arrest? Mirabra's rogue croc caught. And the breakthrough Queensland treatment for asthma. This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening. Smartphones could be the new weapon in the fight against outlaw bikies. Police are looking into new facial recognition technology that would alert them when a gang member is close by. In a city already under close police guard, there's now talk of another way to keep watch. If you're on the Gold Coast, we're watching you. More than 150 surveillance cameras monitor the Gold Coast, but updated with facial recognition technology. Libby Stone joins us now, and Libby Council's CCTV network set to get a boost. Yes, that's right, Andrew. Council set to install five new cameras on the Gold Coast next week with plans to increase the network each year. Now, they're also in talks with light rail operators Goldlink on ways to share their surveillance system with around 260 cameras to be installed along the tram line. All right, Libby, thank you. Mounting congestion at Brisbane Airport could be eased within months with new commercial services from Archerfield Airport to take off early next year. It has the potential to accommodate 600 flights a year. It still retains its 30s facade. Now Archerfield Airport wants to go back to the future. Archerfield was... Live now to Joel Dry and Joel, the community is having their say about this tonight. Yeah, they are, Melissa, and understandably aircraft noise is the biggest concern amongst the 60 or so residents at that meeting tonight. The Archerfield Airport Corporation is doing their best to alleviate those fears. They say the number of extra aircraft and therefore noise will be barely noticeable, but even still they have promised to undertake a pretty extensive public consultation process before they ever greenlight regular passenger transport services. All right, thanks, Joel. The state government's offered the deal of a lifetime to kickstart Queensland's next big coal rush with the prospect of tens of thousands of jobs. There'll be tax breaks and slashing of red tape for whoever is first to start digging in the giant Galilee Basin. Queensland's already one of the coal capitals of the world, but this is the mother. After 18 months of hunting, rangers have finally trapped the elusive Mary River crocodile. But the three metre reptile wasn't alone, an even bigger beast is still hiding from handlers. Bound and blindfolded, the 300 kilo croc was strapped down to a box trailer. She was caught early this morning by rangers patrolling the riverbanks at Maryborough. We spent a lot of hours spotlighting for the crocodile in the last few months with no um, success. At 3.1 metres, it was just shorter than their tinny. It took two hours... From giant Christmas baubles to 3D displays, Brisbane's Lord Mayor has officially launched the city's festive season. Sophie Walsh is in Queen Street Mall and Sophie, what's in store? Well, Melissa, I know what you're thinking. It is a little early for Christmas decorations, but this is just the beginning of a six-week extravaganza. The theme is the Nutcracker, and on offer is 181 free events for the family, 533 performances, including lighting of the Brisbane City Christmas tree in King George Square on the 29th of November, Lord Mayor's Christmas carols and the Maya Parade and Pantomime will be running from the 13th to the 22nd of December, and this year for the first time on December the 13th, our newly restored city City Hall will light up with the special 3D animated toy factory, one definitely not to be missed. Now last year these events brought in $2.9 million every day to our local economy and they're hoping for more of the same this year. All right, thank you Sophie. We'll stay with us ahead, the world's worst hit and run. The powerful new Queensland treatment for asthma sufferers. And the very useful $10 million bra. In breaking news, all residents in Corralburn are being told to boil their tap water following a possible contamination affecting the Walker Drive Reservoir. This alert applies immediately. The Lockyer Valley has had its fair share of disasters, but now they're better prepared. A new rescue truck will be able to ferry supplies. There's relief for adults suffering chronic asthma with a new treatment at a Brisbane hospital offering dramatic results. Patients have successfully been weaned off high doses of medication and are suffering fewer attacks. Puffing, God, God. panting, struggling to breathe. For 10 years, Annette Holland has suffered an asthma attack every week, rushed to hospital if she couldn't get to her nebulizer. It'd be three or four hours, 
I used to use it. So everywhere you went. Time for sport now. Here's Wall. Thanks, Lofty. Well, Kangaroos coach Tim Sheens puts his players on notice. Adamant, no one's position is safe at the World Cup. Also, the mystery girl who's stolen Sonny Bill's heart. And the Phillies take centre stage at Flemington. And it was a great day on the coast today, but an even better day expected tomorrow. All the details from Corumban this evening. Tim Sheens fired a warning shot today. Positions are very much up for grabs in Australia's World Cup campaign. Left centre doesn't appear to be one of those, with Greg Inglis rested for Sunday morning's final Group A match against Ireland. It's a game the Kangaroos are expected to win comfortably. ...with a 120 run partnership. Tom Mitchell, Nine News. Hometown favourite Adam Scott is two shots off the pace after the opening round of the Australian PGA at Royal Pines. The Masters champion carded a six under par 65. His driving game was a pleasure to watch, but some underestimated just how far he could actually hit it. And the change of coach is always as good as a holiday. So they say. Thanks, Wally. Let's check in with Gary now for the weather, and that is a beautiful view, Gary. It certainly is, Melissa, particularly uh, on a day like today with just endless blue sky, the Gold Coast in the background. I'll tell you why I'm at Corumba next, plus all your weather details. Smartphones, tablets, laptops. These are our high-tech children. It is a digital revolution. The Queensland research proving computers can make our kids smarter. It is a very powerful learning tool. The apps and games parents should be downloading. They don't realise they're learning. They're having so much fun. Nine News tomorrow. In finance, the market closed lower. The All Lords down more than 10 points. Our dollar buying 94 US cents. Gary's weather now. He's on the Gold Coast. Any chance for a wave today, Gary? Uh, Lofty, I had time for a quick one or maybe two, but the real reason I'm at Corumban uh, today, the Australian stand-up paddleboard titles kicked off here at Corumban, and they'll be on again tomorrow morning and into the weekend as well. Conditions not ideal, only half metre, but some fun waves. Uh, the wind on shore, but it was only light today. We'll get up tomorrow afternoon. So if you're in for a surf yourself, hit it early tomorrow morning. The water's great in. Let's have a look at temperatures across the southeast today. It was warmer away from the coast due to the sea breeze. 31 in Ipswich. Gatton hit 32. Two, while 25 here on the Goldie, 26 on the Sunshine Coast. Tomorrow's map, a trough extending from the northwest of the country to the southeast corner, will start to produce showers and thunderstorms. To the capitals, thunderstorms in Alice Springs, Canberra, and Sydney later. Rain in Melbourne and Hobart, rain easing to showers in Adelaide. Back into our state, possible early shower for Townsville and Mackay. Inland, a very good chance of a thunderstorm for Mount Isa after a 40 degree day. The remainder of the state, uh, mostly sunny. Back to the southeastern corner in our backyard. Fine, sunny, light northwest to northeasterly winds. 29 on the Sunshine Coast, 28 Bayside, 27 here on the Goldie, Ipswich 34. Moreton Bay, northwesterly winds will give way to a north northeaster, reaching 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. The best boating will be early. Brisbane, sunny and very warm, 30 degrees before the sea breeze kicks in early afternoon. The outlook a hot weekend on the way, possible late storms Sunday. From Monday on, showers and storms are likely. But, guys, a great one tomorrow for our beaches. Looks good. All right, thanks, Gary. And that is is our news tonight. I'll have updates for you through the evening, but right now, time for a current affair, and here's Trace.